When installing high-density polyethylene pipes below water level, the buoyancy of the pipe shall be taken into consideration due to the lower density of the polyethylene compared with water. Given that the HDPE pipe has a profiled wall, the wall has to be injected and filled with limestone mixture so that additional weight can be achieved of the pipe. The filling of the HDPE box profile shall be done before the pipes are launched into the sea. For easier launching of the pipeline into the water, a railway has to be built. On top of the railway, pipe wagons have to be placed. The pipeline can then be pulled along the railway with the help of a tugboat in the offshore end. To ensure a controlled pulling speed, a braking equipment shall be placed at the rear end. When the front and rear end of the pipeline is launched from the railway, it shall be lifted out in the sea if necessary, to ensure that the steel flanges are not damaged. The most common method to install a submarine HDPE pipeline is called S-Bend sinking. The S-Bend configuration expresses a balance between the forces acting downwards, filled profiles, and the forces acting upwards, buoyancy of air filled section. The HDPE pipeline is required to fill with water before submerging starts to reduce the upfloating force. Air bags shall be used to compensate the load of the pipeline underwater and by emptying them, it will be possible to control the bending radius and position. Air bags shall be attached to the pipeline. Once all the airbags are attached to the pipeline, the pumping of water inside the pipe can start. During the pumping, the valve at the rear end of the pipeline shall be opened to release all air. Once the pumping starts, it shall continue until the complete pipeline section is supported by the airbags. The pipe should not be left in S-curve for longer periods. The pumping shall not be stopped before all air bubbles at the at the rear end of the water surface disappears. To monitor and control the process, the survey poles with measurement lines shall be installed directly on top of the HDPE pipe. The water level can be used as immediate reference while sinking the pipeline. The supply and release of air can be controlled by a control valve connected to the compressor located on the vessel. After the pipeline has reached the seabed, final checking of elevation shall be carried out. Once the pipeline is filled with water, both HDPE blind flanges are taken away with a hydraulic chainsaw.